yo, what's up people, Tassaran here and welcome back to Final Fantasy Online with Tass Nightbane the Marauder. Yes, we're living the dream. Okay, so we need to sort out about uh, some shoes, I think, for, for a banquet. And that is pretty much all we have to do until we hit 20 when we get the next Marauder quest. Oh, don't he look good in the armor? Yeah, so we've got the shoes. So now we're all ready for the banquet. So first things first, let's put on our silly dress shoes, and not update it. Does this go to the, ah yes, the bulwark hall, brilliant. Let me in. Brothers and sisters of the sea, join me now in honoring this man for his services to our great nation. May the navigator guide and protect him on his journey till sea swallows all. These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are formed of cutthroats and madmen who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal Leviathan. From what we have gathered, they sought to swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate enough to cross their path. I need not tell you the depth of the animosity between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote himself to the fishback's god is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. But, thanks to you, our citizens may once more go about their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable curs. Such an extraordinary glow. This is one of the crystals of light. By the navigator. After our encounter with the Gubu, you had a vision, did you not? Of a towering crystal. You bathed in her light. Yashtola's conclusion is clear, and I see no reason to doubt it. You are the vessel of a higher power. This being from your vision was the Mother Crystal, 
Your description matches what little we know of her. And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nations. As once did the deeds of the Warriors of Light. Know you the tale? Like you, they were not of these lands. Yet they fought to protect us all against the corruption of the primals. When the Galian Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the Grand Companies and helped reforge the Eorzean Alliance. And at the Battle of Cartano, they took the field beneath our banners to fight for everything we hold dear. It was on that day, in the midst of that hell, that we lost them. Every soul who survived that battle will never forget how it was to fight beside them. We are proud to call them our comrades. Yet whenever we try to shout their names, the sound dies in our throats. And whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, naught but their shadows appear to us set against a blinding light. Ask any true Eorzean who knew them, and the story will be the same. It is for this reason that we call them the Warriors of Light. When I look upon you, I cannot help but be reminded of them. Keep that crystal safe. In time, I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer, for it is Hydaelyn herself who speaks. to the four victory belongs to the bold show those imperial whore sons what we're made of the left flank buckles divert the barracudas bid them hold that position though it cost them their lives the yellow serpents are in need of succor pray send the white wolves to their aid the adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No. It is nothing. Bloody heroes! The barrier won't go down so easily! Eyes forward! We are being watched. Bull calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! Raging Bull, 
What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Damn it! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swa. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louis Not sure Do what the uh, notification sounds are for.
Okay, so... I think this is where we can... Yeah, all the cutscenes for the scenarios. An armoire. Store an item. And we'll keep that. Definitely put all the uh, strife stuff in there. games to unlock. Music we can purchase, but that's pretty much it for our in-room. That's a nice chunk of XP. The Lamincian Envoy.
That looks like I'm still wearing the dress shoes. What are you waiting for? Let's fucking do this. Nope, that is legit what they look like. Fair enough. So, airship landing, so... There's going to be a lot of travelling now. Looks like it's going to be a very story-packed episode, but... Is what it is, that is the type of game it is. Uh, so, airship landing, if you please. Proper story. Eor 
Eorzea. A blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now, it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We, we are, are of one, one mind, mind, Lord Van Balzar. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. Uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othon, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. <laughs> Clean up this mess, and do not miss any or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. Well, I can't wait to give him a fucking slap. Got a nipple on his head. Okay, after a beastly low time, I think it's time to actually, uh, well, first things first, and that is, uh, unlock all the etherites in the area and then we're free to explore Gridania at our own leisure luckily though Gridania is a place I am familiar with so it shouldn't take me too long Okay. 
Where's the stairs? Carline Canopy. So this is the Adventurer's Guild for Gridania. Nice and packed. That's what I like to see. As you can see, I found the setting to turn off the uh, minions names, which I am properly happy about. So we head east to uh, unlock the Archer's Guild first of all. I'm just doing the route that I usually take. directly north to the market. And halfway through the market, I break off to get the leather workers. one for the eastern side is the Lancers Guild. This setter right along here is well out of the way though for the Botanist Guild. They couldn't put it in like at the front entrance of this area. theatre before backtracking again slightly for the Conjurer's Guild which I'm pretty sure is where we need to actually go which is why I've left that one till last. Don't expect Uldar to be as smooth I've got no idea. That's all of them. Perfect. So you are the Laminson envoy. 
and an adventurer besides. The realm owes much to you and yours. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Please. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Admiral. Yes. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this episode. Uh, so all we need to do now is basically go to Alder and do very much the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over there, unlock the Etherites because I've got no idea where they all are, and then I'll bring it back in the next episode uh, to carry on with the story when we speak to Ruban, the legend in charge of Alder. But that is all the time I've got. Thanks an awful lot for watching. I do really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next one.